is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, of course, MTV Movie Awards were last night. Unfortunately, they were down 29%. Mm -hmm. But you know, The Hunger Games and Twilight made a big showing, as expected for an MTV crowd. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. It is and Volvo's self-driven car convoy treks 125 miles. You know, I really hate to tell them this, but we were over at SEMA when they had a self-driven automobile, remember? Mm -hmm. And they, they spent all day long driving it around. Actually, they've been for years. They, they drove it all over the city of Las Vegas. Yes, you know, it's different between driving it in a city like Las Vegas and taking it out on an open road, because you've got a lot of stop signs. Mm. And Volvo's, um, Jeb Bush would consider BP offer very carefully. Oh yeah, because uh, the problem is, is right now Obama is on the run and basically they're doing such brilliant things as saying, you know, you don't think that they use talking points? Love this one yesterday to, in, on one of the uh, liberal stations. Senator Bush is the only, Senator Obama is the only one that can stop George Bush from winning re-election that we must stop Bush and his policies. And then we have the, we basically had the host of the show going, you know, as this guy is basically going on and on about you must not reelect George Bush. <laughs> the only answer is Barack, Senator Obama. And he, you know. Wait, wait, who was saying that? One of Obama's uh, uh, people out on the stump was reading a 2008, <laughs> he, he'd learned a 2000, because, okay, they have said, that this campaign is being run so ineptly that they think that basically he thinks he's won the election. But here's the trick is, folks, if mm -hmm. most people pay any, I have, oh, I forgot, I didn't cover his ears. If anybody goes back, I wrote a thing over a year ago that said that this president does not have to step down if he does not choose. There's nothing in the Constitution that says the president of the United States has to step down from office. Mm -hmm. Only the Congress of the United States has the ability to remove a president. And mm -hmm. the Democrats are not going to remove Obama from the presidency because um, here, here's the big thing. If the Republicans win with Mitt Romney, good, because they're going to run against the Democrats. If the Republicans lose with Mitt Romney, good, because they're going to run against the Democrats. If the Democrats don't win with Obama, they go down the toilet entirely because they have no backup plan. They can't run against the Republicans because they're, they're already running against the Republicans and it's not working. And the U.S. and allies expel top Syrian diplomats. Well, that's not going to do any good because they said the Russians are, the Russian and Chinese and the Armenians is going to continue to support them. He who has the military to control the port of Damascus, which is the gateway to the Middle East if the Suez Canal doesn't work, is not going to ever be tossed out of office. And first of all, um, I know, i got to cover his ears again. The President of the United States does not understand. We've got to keep this quiet. Dictators are not nice people. You know, when you say, you can't be a good, uh, a good citizen of the world if you abuse your people. Uh, let's see, we've got Mussolini, we've got Hitler, we've got Mao Zedong, we've got Deng Khan. You want to talk about all the, tell the, how the people that abuse their the people? And Blitzer blasts Trump for ridiculous Perther comments. Um, let's see, put it this way, that the only reason the comments exist was be, is because the state of Hawaii totally refuses to put out a birth certificate that is a real birth certificate. They put out something that was made up. Also, the second is they went, they went back to the Honolulu, the news, the, uh, basically the files, Obama's birth was not listed in any of the publications. I mean, I, I go back, folks, to like the 1930s, and you can find my birth thing over in the in the Los Angeles Times listed. My, you know, it's done. The hospitals put that out. It is listed as a historical fact when anybody in our nation is born, unless he's born in a home. If he's born in a hospital, it goes right to the local newspaper. And crews work to protect structures in Michigan wildfire. Well, yeah, the, the, this is, they think it may be the, here's the problem is, global warming is because of this. Well, yeah, everything is so dry. Well, no, there was so bloody much rainfall that when the summer season, spring and summer started happening and it gets dry, 
Guess what happens with all of that growth from all of the rainfall that they had to produce? It catches fire and burns like heck. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, there is brush in places that haven't had brush in 100 years. And will 2012 be the year of the duck? I know, this has got to be the most, I mean, they're really, I actually, I think I may have started that duck thing. What are you talking oh, about? I put a thing on Facebook where somebody said, well, I think they were doing this, you know, they're, they're, they're doing some dance, and you know, I think it, they, they were doing the duck dance, you know, and, and oh, that's are you serious? Not, I did, I, I actually, but that was a Facebook <laughs> joke, folks, and it basically, okay, I'll tell you something else, a long time ago when I was in high school, I was on the foot, I, you know, I, I, they were getting ready to go to college, and basically the athletes are told, well, you don't really have to go classes. You can basically do this and do that. And I said, oh, um, I, I'd like to take a class of underwater BB stacking. That became a joke. Or, you know, or, you know it, it, I also created a thing called, I was a mom off for the FBI mm -hmm. in the 1950s. They made a goddamn movie called, I was a mom off for the FBI. They were jokes, as the bikinis are as a joke. Uh, some people don't realize that. Oh, and report Rob Portman's to me with Israeli Prime Minister. Yeah, basically, uh, they're okay. Basically, the Jews don't like Obama. They don't like his administration, so they're talking to the Republicans. Basically, what happens is if Israel supports the Republican, Obama is toast with all the Jews in Florida mm -hmm. and New York. And workers among 16 dead in latest a big Italian quake. I know, isn't that something? The, the people going in to save people, the responders are now being killed because of afterquakes. Mm. That's never supposed to happen. They're supposed to, uh, it's just like it, what happened when the Twin Towers were destroyed. People were on site that should not have been on site. And it's the same thing there. People that should not have been there got hit by afterquakes. And reporter cooks and eats Elizabeth Warren's Cherokee recipes. I know. They're, well, they're, what's the big deal about that? They're making a farce of her. You know, I mean, this woman basically just makes one mistake. Okay, I, 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 I hate big Indian. I have a thing on the United States government declared me an Indian. I, mean, I was like this because my mother is this little, was this little white-haired little American Indian. My grandmother's a little white-haired American. Actually, grandmothers on both sides of my family were Indian, and. I used to play Indians. I mean, blonde hair, blue-green eyes. I played Indians because I knew what Indians were actually like. <laughs> and death row babysitter could get a new trial. Yeah, because uh, well, what happens is when you manufacture evidence to prove, convict somebody, it generally happens. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's just like they didn't even bother with um, John. Okay, Bill O'Reilly is pissed off about Edwards not being convicted. Well, like they told him there was no evidence that he actually did anything wrong because the way it works is no matter what they say, campaign donations can be used for anything that you want. Obama oh had like about gosh. 400 million from the last one that he's been funneling to people. Oh my gosh, you mean really you can do that? Yeah. Yeah. And school bus, bus with students aboard crashes into house and four hurt. I know, I mean. They're lucky only four got hurt. No, but I, I actually had to take a old, got off an old fashioned bus to school when I was little because I, I, I really got tired of walking like five miles to the school. I mean, there were not a whole lot of schools in Los Angeles when I was a kid, folks. So we had, I had to get on a bus to go, they'd haul us over to the really nice school. And we were had safer buses 70 years ago than we do now. And Senate panel back six, six hundred sixty-three one six hundred thirty-one. A billion. Oh six. Oh. It's six hundred and thirty-one billion in defense spending. Yeah, which Obama's going to veto because it doesn't. Uh, what happened was was Obama wanted it put into the defense plan. Well, every job has to be a union job only, and that got taken out with support from the Democrats because it's an election year, folks. And if you say that only union people can get jobs with the government, you're going to lose a lot of votes. Well, and Alaska residents warned about aggressive cow moose. I love that one. But no, um, when, when um, okay, basically when deers and moose and er caribou are in a running stage, when that's mean when they really want to jump on their deer, they will kill anything that's in their way. Ooh, Anamonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. 
maybe you wouldn't elect people that you don't think should be in office if you actually paid any attention to what they did before you decided to elect them.